Yes, thank you, Chair. Um, in this House, we have discussed media freedom being under pressure in Italy, Slovakia and Hungary. We have discussed the violation of LGBT rights in Lithuania, Hungary, Poland. We have discussed the expulsion and discrimination of Roma people in France and Italy. And there have been many other examples of uh, debates about fundamental rights being under pressure in one member state of another. And every single time I hear the EPP say this should not be party politics, we should not single out member states. This is not about member states. This is about fundamental rights. Fundamental rights is not a matter of subsidiarity. Fundamental rights is about the very foundations of the European Union. And in order to demonstrate this, I remind you that we ask of candidate countries to adapt, yes, not only their laws, but also their constitutions in order to be admitted as a member of the European Union. Now, clearly, colleagues, there are objective concerns that have not only been expressed by political parties, but also by the Venice Commission. And at the very least, there are ambiguities. And instead of having this uh, very acrimonious debate, we should try and clarify the issues. And one last suggestion to the practical suggestion to the Hungarian government. If you want to demonstrate your very strong commitment to the protection and promotion of LGBT rights, I would invite you to walk with the Budapest Gay Pride on the 18th of June. Thank you.